I'm Valder Beebe. I'm the host and the visionary of the Valder Beebe show, God Talk. Some people talk to God and others believe that God talks to them. Join us in conversation with authors, religious clergy, metaphysicians, and regular people like you and I and God Talk. God Talk is a podcast available on FM Radio, Roku TV, and online. Subscribe at ValderBBShow.com. You can also subscribe at YouTube.com slash ValderBBShow. Join the conversation of God Talk. I'll see you there. Good day, and thanks for being here on the Bounder BB Show. It's been a great day. I've had a great lineup, so I'm going to stay with that great lineup. I've got Dr. Steve McCune. He's a medical doctor and a Ph.D., at Northwestern Georgia Oncology Centers. And he's here with great information about the uncertainty in lung cancer diagnosis, but there is new hope. Dr. McCune, welcome to the Valder BB Show. Thank you, Valder, it's a pleasure. I like the new hope part. Let's get started. What is the most common type of lung cancer and how does it impact Americans? Well, the most common type of lung cancer is called non-small cell lung cancer. Uh, it's by far the most common type, about 85% of total lung cancers. And unfortunately, lung cancer is the leading cause of cancer death in the United States. When someone gets this kind of diagnosis, what are their options? Well, their options are, are sometimes limited. Uh, lung cancer is often first uh, recognized when it has spread beyond the lungs to other parts of the body. So the, the best thing to do is really talk with your doctor or talk with a medical oncologist to get an idea of the treatment options that are available. My, my information said that there was a major medical meeting and there were some new findings that were unveiled. Could you sh talk a little bit about that? Absolutely. Your information is exactly right. And this is really a hopeful uh, progress for people with lung cancer. Um, a lot of times we, we talk about metastatic cancer and, and people wonder, how long am I going to live? What's the treatment going to be like? So the, the new, really ground, you know, groundbreaking, game-changing breakthrough is the use of two immunotherapy drugs uh, to treat what we call first-line non-small cell lung cancer that has progressed beyond the lungs. So that's, that's metastatic disease, and it can be controlled uh, even for a period of years using the patient's own immune system. So the treatment is two drugs. Uh, they're FDA-approved now called Opdivo and your VOI. Um, I was actually part of uh, the, the team uh, conducting this research uh, from a company called Bristol-Myers Squibb, and it was FDA approved uh, for use in non-small cell lung cancer. So how does this treat combination treatment work? So the two drugs work together. One stimulates the immune system and then the other activates it to attack the cancer. Uh, you can think of it almost like giving a vaccination to help the body's own immune system attack the cancer. And while there, there are side effects to any type of treatment, uh, these drugs can work even for a period of years uh, to control the lung cancer. Uh, and, and a good thing that people often ask about, this is given without any chemotherapy. This is just the immunotherapy. And then it can work for months or years after the treatment is stopped. Can you just ask this question, and it's off script, I know, but is there any age group that's uh, uh, more susceptible to this type of lung cancer, or is it just lung cancer? Uh, it's a great question. Usually, the, this type of lung cancer is going to occur in, in people, I'm, I'm over 50, and it tends to be people who are over 50, really probably from mid to late 50s through your 60s up until your 70s. Uh, it's, it's usually folks who have a smoking history uh, for a number of years, quite honestly. All right. Let me ask you one more thing. Where can my audience go online? Because I know there's some ex-smokers and some ex-not-so-good habit people out there. Where can they go and get more information? Hey, Valder, there's some good resources. Uh, the American Cancer Society at cancer.org or for this particular combination, a website called opdivo.com, and that's opdivo.com. 
I thank you so much, doctor, for coming on the Valder BB show and talking about this because I know it's a real problem according to the statistics I'm seeing. So thank you for being a light in this problem. Hey, thank you, Valder. Have, have a great day in Dallas. Hi, I'm Valder BB. I host the Valder BB show broadcast on radio and television. And this is my phone pouch. My phone pouch is a great invention. It allows me to go hands-free, pocket-free, purse-free, even belt-free. Head on over to myphonepouch.com.